Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to find basic trigonometric ratios in a right triangle. So trigonometry as the name suggests is the branch of mathematics that deals with the relationship of angles in a triangle and the side lengths. For that, if you have been given a triangle where you know the side lengths of the triangle, you can easily find the basic trigonometric ratio. So let us find out the basic trigonometric ratios in a right triangle with the help of this example. Here in this example, a right triangle has been given with a base angle of theta and we have been given the length of hypotenuse and base of the triangle and we need to find all the trigonometric ratios. So first of all, for finding the value of all the ratios, we need to find the third side which is the length of perpendicular of this triangle. So here we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So by Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square. In this triangle OPM, hypotenuse is OP, base is OM and perpendicular is PM. We need to find the length of PM. So OP is given as 15, OM is given as 12 and PM we need to find it out. So 15 square is 225, 12 square is 144 and this is pm square so 225 minus 144 is equal to pm square so 225 minus 144 is 81 so pm square is 81 this gives us pm as square root of 81 which is 9 so the length of the perpendicular is 9 now we are going to use the length of all the three sides of the triangle to find the trigonometric ratios. So sin theta is equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Here perpendicular is PM over OP and PM length is 9 and OP is 15. So sin theta is 9 by 15. We can reduce it further. So this will be 3 by 5. This is the value of sin theta. Next we will find cos theta. So cos theta is base over hypotenuse. So base is OM and hypotenuse is OP. So this is 12 over 15. So cos theta is equal to 12 over 15 which can be reduced as 3 times 4 and 3 times 5. 4 by 5. So this is cos theta. Now we will find tan theta. So tan theta is perpendicular over base which is pm over om. In this triangle, so PM is 9 and OM is 12. 10 theta is 9 by 12 which can be reduced to 3 times 3 and 3 times 4, 3 by 4. This is the value of 10 theta. Now for finding cosec theta, we can take the reciprocal of sin theta. Cos cosec theta is 1 by sin theta. So this will be 5 by 3. This is cosec theta. Sec theta is the reciprocal of cos theta. So this is 1 by cos theta. So we can take the reciprocal of 4 by 5 which is equal to 5 by 4. This is sec theta. And cot theta is the reciprocal of tan theta. So cot theta is equal to 1 by tan theta. So this we are going to take the reciprocal of 3 by 4 which is 4 by 3. So this is how we can find the trigonometric ratios in our right triangle. So let's take a recap. If in a right triangle, the length of any two sides of a triangle are given, then first of all, we are going to use the Pythagoras theorem to find the length of the third side. When we get all the side lengths of the triangle, we can use these side lengths to find the different trigonometric ratios. 
I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.